Hey folks, uh, just thought I'd give you another quick update about the weather and the easiest way to show you is with this interactive weather site uh, and this does just show you the weather where it is just now. Now, it looks to me as if it is heading up the coast. Um, it is currently 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so let's get the map for 2 o'clock. It said it's just right over Torrey of Ecker just now. But when I'm looking down the coast, when I'm looking out the window, it does seem to be clearing slightly. And it is going to hit us bad around about 4.30 this afternoon, so another two and a half hours. But it looks as if the clears are, sky, are clearing slightly. When I look at this map, this gives you a better idea. And the worst weather seems to be right out at sea at the moment. I mean, I know that Palma and Mallorca and that had it bad last night. It seems to be out at sea at the moment. Whether or not that comes inland, the region is going all the way up the coast to Barcelona, the weather. Um, but let's just hope it doesn't head up towards the Valencian region where it hit before. And when you look at where we are, it seems to be Alicante, it seems to be missing out, that's weirdly strange. Um, this map shows you roughly where the rain is at the exact moment. And then if, I think if we go in the next tower, it will show you again. The thunder seems to be moved further away. There was some really loud thunder about 10 minutes ago, but it seems to have moved further away. When I look at five o'clock tonight and uh, we're still getting at five o'clock tonight so it's going to rain for the, the majority of the day in Torreveca so it's just going to stay in the Torreveca area and all the way down to Cartagena now I know that Sean expat Mazaron was live earlier and um, he was in his basement so I take it everything's okay down that way um, but that shows you the way that the rain is going and we'll just have a look up again. I mean, Valencia's going to get it again later this afternoon, 8 o'clock tonight. I just hope it is not as bad as, I mean, it seems to be that bit that was out at the Balearic Islands is going to hit them again tonight. So we seem to be missing the worst of the rain. My thoughts and prayers go out to everyone up in this area up here. Four millimetres per hour. I mean, it's not saying a lot, but that was a little bit of lightning there watching out the window um, but we are okay just now we've had slight rain nothing to nothing to write home about as I say um, storm wise but this map gives you the timeline of it also also what to do just a quick update on what we've raised and thank you to everyone um, who has donated there has been quite a few people donated today I will put the links directly under this video um, we are trying to raise some money to give to the people in need most up in the Levent Valencian region and uh, I've seen some fantastic footage of um, Albatera yesterday they loaded up a massive massive truckloads truckloads of of aid to take up to the Valencia region the Valencia region now are saying that there's nowhere basically to put anything there's nowhere dry to, to store anything so if people can now hold off that's why rather than do food food bank collection or anything like that I thought the best way to do it is to do cash so when the time is right we can then take the cash and give it to the authorities and and um, and they'll be able to distribute it in the best way possible. When I jump onto Thrivecar, uh, this will show you in euros. There's been three uh, people have donated in euros and there's been 50 euros and since the 1st of November. Um, and then in pounds, because I know a lot of you are back home in the UK and there's been five people donated and it's 120 pounds. We, we will convert that. It'll all get converted into euros and um, it'll be paid out in euros. So do not worry about that. And like I said, I showed you in the other video exactly the only fees that come off will be the card fees. Uh, that's the only fees that, that will come off this money uh, will be the card fees. There's nothing that we can do about that. I'm, I just apologise and I wish, that, I wish that the card companies didn't take their 3% or whatever, or 2.7%. Um, but it is the way that the banking system works and there's, it's, uh, unfortunately, uh, there's nothing we can do about it. But the majority 
of the money, well, other than the card fees, will go to people that need it. Unlike some of the sites that I, that I did look at and that they do take a commission, which I didn't want to happen. I don't want people to benefit out of what has happened in the Valencian region. Just checking in on the Facebook page for Dan and Torreveca area, uh, for the most part the storm has already passed and is heading towards the centre of the coast of the province of Alicante. It will keep raining for a while, but the south, the, the skies are clear and start to open. That's just what I said when I looked out the window, heading down south uh, t towards Cartagena, uh, it does look as if it's clearing down that way. So it, it looks as if it's going to pass us by and head up towards the Alicante Benidorm region, so keep an eye out if you are up in that area. Now, the rain advisory remains active, although the probability of heavy rain and thunderstorms has decreased considerably. Yeah, I could tell that, it's just been looking out the window. Um, one of the bars that is trying to uh, collect some, uh, they're doing a fundraiser, is the Celtic Drop, and uh, they're looking for musicians and artists, and uh, Laura said it's basically a, a begging post. Which I think, uh, it's, yeah, I won't say anything just now. Um, but she's looking for musicians of any kind of entertainment for acts to help her fundraiser and help support the victims of the Valencia flooding for next week, depending on the weather. I'm just looking for 20 or 30 minutes or one hour, whatever anyone can do. All of the acts we've supported in the Celtic drop over the last uh, nearly three years, only two have offered to help towards our charity event. I guess we know when it comes down to it, who is willing to support one another. Any advice greatly taken. Uh, looking to hold it either Wednesday or Thursday next week. Now, when you all go to these bars and you you, you see the acts and, and uh, you know, I f feel disappointed in the acts that's done that because my dad was a musician all his life and, I mean, he did going all the way back to the early 80s when he was at Butlins, uh, the late 70s when he did all the, the, the pubs and bars around the, the mining villages and everything, uh, right up to when he went to Tenerife and uh, even in Salou in 1988, he was in Salou for a couple of years and then he did 14 years in Tenerife and I know that he would be jumping all over this and, and I mean even if he was here, he'd be jumping all over this to, to do whatever. And it's at a time like that when you know the worth of the musicians that you're going to see. And I just I just feel that it, it, it is disappointing. And hopefully um, a lot of these acts will change their mind. And, and even if they can do just do a half hour gig, um, and, you know, is, is give their time. And sometimes, you know, it, it's the right thing to do. Anyway, don't want to end on a good note. The good note is the weather seems to be passing us by. We haven't had it bad today. We'll jump back onto the weather map. Uh, uh, the heavy rains look as if it's still going to hit us, but you'll be glad if you're down the Torreveca, Cabo Roig area. Um, if you're down Torreveca, it looks as if the worst is past, according to official sources, and it doesn't seem to have been as bad as what they had last week up in the Valencia region. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.